Hi Aquarius, thank you for joining. And this is going to be your weekly love reading. There's a big energy out here of you letting go of control and allowing a situation to unfold naturally. And it's just like you trusting in spirit, okay? In the pre-shuffle, the Hierophant card came out. Taurus energy, you could have some Taurus in your chart, you don't have to. But this, this Hierophant card in this deck really reminds me of the star card it's like you're standing at this gateway asking for something that's really already headed towards you from what i can tell here but it's like either you're lacking some form of patience about it because uh what also came out in the pre-shuffle was you deserve love you are lovable but it came out in reverse with let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally here so this could just really be energy of you just feeling like bummed out when it comes to love, like whoever you're meeting, maybe it's not working out. Some of you guys are asking for a new love or you're asking for a stable connection and, you know, something serious, okay? Something that is um, traditional, right, with this hair fine energy here. You know, and I think you've played, prayed and prayed and asked for it. Now it's just time for you to detach and just have faith that that's going to come in. And I feel like that's where this surrendering energy and you just letting go of control and just letting things happen naturally comes in for you. But here's the kicker to this. Let your friends help you and ask for and accept help and support from other people and just like go have fun and enjoy your life is here. Literally playfulness and let your friends help you is also out here. Okay, if you guys can see this energy, there you go. So, you know, is now might just be a good time for you to focus on having fun. You know, you may even be in for some of you might be introduced to someone through a friend of a friend. Okay, they they may want to help you or, you know, they might be encouraging you to get out more. It's time for you to do that. Okay, don't focus so much on like the goal of finding a partner now if you're not focusing on the goal of finding a partner you guys this is could be the energy that you're already in you're like you know what i give up i'm just gonna go have fun and just forget it i'm surrendering i'm just gonna trust and detach from something here there's something unexpected coming in for you some of you guys could have experienced like tower moments when it comes to love in the past. You had an awful breakup with somebody here in the recent past. It looks like an unexpected change in your life for some of you guys. Like you weren't expecting this breakup or you weren't you were expecting for the connection to go a little bit differently than it did. But here's the deal with the destruction energy, which is like the tower energy. You could have Scorpio in your chart here with this energy. But the thing is with this energy is there's something new coming. A lot of you guys are really focused on work, stability, um, your career. You have you have potential to do whatever it is that you really are setting your mind to here. And this is what you guys have have decided to focus on. You know, if you have a business here, some of you guys, you have somebody watching you from afar. And they're fascinated and curious with your energy here. I wonder who that is. Could be somebody new. Let's let's get more energy out here. What else for these singles, please? Yeah, you got an offer coming in. And it's happening in divine timing. Okay, this offer is coming in in divine timing here. All right. <sighs> Patience, perseverance, peace. Trust that the divine knows when is the right time. And I know we talk about this divine timing thing all the time. Okay, so let me, the masculine energy just came out. You guys, you have an offer coming towards you. Somebody wants to take you out on a date, but you know what's so crazy? You may meet somebody at a wedding at a party, at a friend's party or a friend's wedding or some form of like a friend's celebration, some form of celebration. This is weird because there are two cards out here. The engagement card is here and the offer card is here. And like, that's a wedding. And we're doing a singles reading right now. 
So this is definitely something um, that's either A, coming towards you, that's going to be a higher level of commitment. Show me this masculine energy here. There's a, a divine masculine in your energy who is lied to you in the past that can't let go of you or you can't let go of them. This person is still attached to you and they miss you with the Six of Cups energy here. Okay, memories. And then we have deception, mask, illusion. Look beyond the superficial. That's what's going on with this masculine. You got a masculine that's at a crossroads, two of swords energy, two of wands energy. But this masculine does not know what decision they want to make. This masculine doesn't even really know if they can have anything serious with you. They're confused right now. There's a confused masculine that just, you know, yeah, right now. They know they miss you, but it doesn't look like they're ready for more. Okay. I don't think this is you holding on to this person. Could be. Okay. Just apply it where it fits. So show me what else is coming towards the collective when it comes to love. My singles, please. The world card. The seven of wands, the page of pentacles, and the world. All right. You could be a fixed sign, a Leo, a Taurus, a Scorpio, or an Aquarius here. Seven of Wands is like, you're like, get back. You're protecting your peace. Somewhere here, there's something that's over. Okay. There's something that's over here with this world card. Somebody's blocking. This could be you blocking a masculine from the past coming back to offer something here. There could be a younger earth sign here with this page of pentacles. But this is you like, get back. I'm not, no, I don't want it. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. It looks like, get back, I don't want it. But this masculine is missing you. This energy keeps coming out. Five of pentacles. They really miss you. And they want to reunite. Five of pentacles. But the thing is, this person is confused about what it is that they can actually offer you long, offer you something long term. They're not sure if they're going to be able to do that. King of Cups. This person could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. They're definitely emotional and thinking about offering, giving something to you, right? But this person is probably moving slow because this Page of Pentacles energy, you guys, is energy of like the slowest moving page in the deck right they're not this page is still looking at this pinnacle which is this offer remember we already saw the energy of an offer out here for some of y'all could be new and old could be this person that wants to bring this offer to you but the thing is they're sitting here wasting time contemplating what they're gonna do because they're so confused should i offer this shouldn't i offer that i don't you know Ace of Cups just came out with the Six of Wands. Ace of Cups here. This person wants to reconcile with you. Four of Cups. But they're afraid they're going to be rejected. They want to talk to you. Page of Wands. Another page. Definitely they want some attention from you. But again, they're still in this unsure, un unstable energy with this Two of Pentacles. They're contemplating, weighing their options, trying to figure something out here. This is this is this King of Cups. This King of Cups wants to, yeah. They're doing a lot of meditation. See, in this in this deck here, this Four of Cups, there's there's somebody here sitting Indian style, meditating, thinking about this. This cup has wing, angel wings on it. This person has their eyes closed and they're meditating. It's a peaceful state, seems like, you know, seems like this person is in a, they, you know, they could be thinking about you all the time, but they definitely want to want to talk with you. Spirit could be blocking this person from coming back towards you also too with this seven of wands falling underneath this ace of cups until this person gets it together.
Because you're not going to take the wishy-washy energy. You want somebody who's sure about, about what they want from you. Why is this King of Cups here? Yeah, it's over. Scorpio energy here with the Death card. This masculine feels like it's over. But again, we saw that uh, Tower energy out here. So definitely somebody could be dealing with a Scorpio. Show me more on this King of Cups. Goes that tower and the two of wands, I mean, the two of swords in reverse. This person is like refusing to like believe this is over, or they're in denial about something. Clarify this death energy two of wands, two, two, two is out here, you could be seeing the numbers 222, two, two, which is an angel number. This, this person has a choice to make and they're still contemplating that choice. Clarify this two of swords in reverse. 10 of swords, man. Definitely was an ending and a, not a good one. Yeah, not a good one. Nine of swords, ten of swords. This person is like heartbroken over this ending here. Ten of pentacles in reverse. Wow. Ten of pentacles in reverse. Somebody is not doing so well. This masculine is not doing so well. All right, can we talk about what the <laughs> the singles have coming towards them other than this masculine? Or why are we talking about this for the collective singles? The Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Interesting, the wheel. So that's good fortune. That's change. That's moving forward. That's fate. That's good luck. The Knight of Wands, that's something exciting, okay, coming towards you. Hold on, all these cards just came out. Six of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, and the Hanged Man. Uh, you have a... Pisces energy is out here. You have a soulmate coming. A new soulmate coming. Y'all are moving on, I feel like. Six of Swords. Yeah, judgment. You made a decision to move forward. And you're doing it all by your lonesome, all by yourself to go find your Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment. It's coming towards you, the magician. You manifested this. You manifested this. So why is the hangman here? Some of y'all feel like... Your, your new person, your person that you're supposed to be with, your divine counterpart is not coming. You've been feeling a little bit discouraged. They are coming, okay? Clarify the hey, man. Yeah, it's coming. Spirit said, it's coming. You think it's not coming, Eight of Wands? It's coming. It is coming, and it's coming fast. I, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen the eight of wands in this deck, right? It's usually like eight wands, but this is like somebody riding on a horse and they're coming fast. And we know that the eight of wands is fast movement. So if you're feeling like, is my person coming? Is my person coming? They are coming. You might feel stuck or you might feel like you're not getting action right now when it comes to love. You are. I guess spirit just wants you to know like this past person, what they're going through because there's a high chance this person's still in your energy. They won't let go. They may come back. And so then at some point you're going to have a choice. I guarantee you between two people when this person, leave, when this past person finally gets the courage to come back towards you. If this past person, yeah, and I'm speaking the truth, Eight of so uh, Ace of Swords, definitely speaking the truth. Clarification, this is coming. Six of Wands, you're going to have victory. 
Look, Six of Wands and the Ace of Swords is victory, baby. They're coming. Whoever it is that you want, that you've been waiting on, it's coming and it's coming in hot. It's coming in hot. But see, the thing is, so is this past person. The past person's coming in hot, too. So show me more here about the new stuff coming in for the singles. Spirit is like, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Spirit, why are you doing this? Can can we can we please get some in? All right. The this same card is coming out again. Divine timer was on the bottom of the deck. And it's back out here again. Spirit is saying, in the meantime, between time, when this before this new person comes, focus on your Continue to focus on your career, your stability, your creativity, your productivity, creating something. Because whatever you're getting ready to create, I feel like it's going to, um, you're going to be having some form of success when it comes to your career or your business. And continue to focus on your self-worth and continue to value yourself and understand who that who you are and what you have to offer because it looks like you're somebody of high value. You know what I'm saying? The nine of pentacles is out here. Um, just be empowered by valuing yourself and just trust and have patience that everything is going to be coming in. All right. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> spirit is so funny. They're like, I said what I said. Yeah, work. Something's getting ready to happen at work for you guys. Definitely something good. Show me more here for my collective singles. And love. Freedom. Definitely single. And very mature. You are, did not just say you're somebody of high value. This card says mature woman, socialite, connector, high society. You are of high value. If you don't get anything else from this reading, know your worth. Stand on it. Stand on that. Okay. You are. Um, you're also high value. You're you whoever whatever you do for work, you guys, or whatever you do for money, or like for your business. If you own a business, if you're an entrepreneur, whatever it is, I don't care. You're high value in whatever it is that you do there too. I feel like you guys are highly focused on your stability and your career and your money. Like you're either or you're, you, some of you all might be in school, you know, and focus on school. And that's mainly the reason why you're, you're single and really ready to mingle. Cause look at this. You're like single and ready to mingle. Look at that free energy. There is something really significant here about friends and you networking and meeting a new group of friends and this new group of friends or you how somehow some way they're going to connect you somewhere, either connect you with a new business opportunity, a new job or um, a new lover, this new lover. So there is some talk. Look at this, your career business success and advancement okay like i said some of y'all might be meeting this this um new person at work you're dating people at work are talking about you if this is not people at your job or your career interested in your like dating life or something here then this is people outside of work that have something to say about who you're talking to, what's, what's going on, and you know, with your dating life. So just be careful about talking about your dating life while you're at work. I don't feel like you guys are doing that, but I do feel like some people where you work have something to say about your love life for some strange reason. Travel. Some of you guys are getting ready to travel to work. Or this could be tra yeah man you look at this beauty queen you are of high value shining adored your six of wands energy like this is you people see you as this or someone sees you as this listen nine of pentacles energy you're mature you're beautiful 
you are successful or you're about to be successful, money is going to be good. We already saw the wheel out here, right? Now we have the wheel again in a different day. Money, okay? This says wealth, luck, and finances. And literally this says, so you, you are about to be really out here living your best life with this dating energy. People are going to want to wine and dine you here. They're going to see you as like this high value catch. Your business is booming um, or you're doing really well at work and you're traveling. You're going to have more money to maybe it, to have more freedom to do things if you don't already. Um, and people are just going to be talking about this. Yeah. Okay, then. <laughs> Let's just get pull a few more cards here. What else for the collective singles? I like this energy. It's coming. It's coming. There's again a strong energy of like some some short term people trying to. You're attracting a relationship. You guys are attracting multiple people, though. See, that's the thing. You're attracting this past person who can't get over you. You're attracting a new person who's going to be your soulmate that you're really, that's what you're really waiting for because uh, you manifested it. You work really hard. But I feel like there's going to be somebody in between that time that you might meet that's new that might not be the forever person. They're just like going to be fun, right? Because you are going to be dating around and I feel like you're going to have plenty of options. Um, just make sure you don't allow this person that's like in between that time frame to stifle your potential potential or cramp your lifestyle or your dating style or something of that nature like don't let them hold you back yeah look at this a wish coming true you guys have really good luck and abundance coming in here wish coming true Someone will possess all the qualities you ever dreamed dream for in a partner a dream come true. Yeah. This is somebody who's not going to put you in a third party situation like the people in the past tried to. You know what I'm saying? You're no longer in the energy of waiting for people to pick you. Now you're in the position to be picking who the hell whoever the hell you want. Let's see what this was. At. Yeah, it says you might meet or know someone who you will grow to love, turning friendship into a relationship. So some of y'all are, in fact, that friendship card came out a couple different times, right? This could be somebody you meet as a friend. It starts out as a friend and it turns into something else. That's pretty cool. Let's get one more for the collective. I want you to stay by Marsha Ambrosia is playing right now. Long haul. Your love interest may be in it for the long haul and willing to go through it with you. Willing to go through it all with you. Enjoy the journey. You ever wanted the whatever you ever wanted in a partner is coming true. A dream come true. Is that two cards that say a dream come true? Yeah. Both of these cards say a dream come true. Look at that. Well, you probably can't see that because the words are small. This is good, but I feel like there's just the bottom of the deck is materialistic love. So you're you're seen as somebody who's very high value, right? But there could be somebody. Um, this could be someone who wants to shower you with gifts, you know, who has money, or someone may feel like you. Um, Listen, if there's somebody that come towards you because they see you as this beauty queen, they see you as highly successful, high value, you're doing well in your life, your money, your career, your business or whatever it is, and you're a really good catch, right? You're in this abundant energy. You're attracting everybody. And particularly, you're going to be attracting somebody here who only thinks about money or they feel like they can buy your love and that's not true that's not going to work for you so try not to fall into that trap you know because if you end up with the person who is wants to buy you things and i'm not saying like they shouldn't buy you things i'm just saying like it, it should be more than that but you'll know you'll know
there is a message here of you finding happiness within yourself before you find it with somebody else and feeling like you're enough. If you have been feeling like, and this is only for those who resonate with it because this message has come out several times, you know, even in the pre-shuffle, you deserve love, you are lovable came out in reverse. And I'm just now seeing on the bottom of the deck, it's like um, self-love in reverse here. Yeah. This is almost like an energy of, you know, if you haven't, maybe you're doubting yourself and your value or whatever it is. I hope not. But I mean, I get it. You know, sometimes it could be it could be tough out here. But, you know, just love yourself. You don't have to chase anybody. You're not even in, in the energy of having to chase anyone. So just know that it's coming to you. Allow that stuff to come to you. You don't have to chase anything. You know, you're perfect just the way that you are. Okay. So let's see. The zodiac signs I had out here. Uh, I think I already talked about those. But I'm just going to leave it there, you guys. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Um, make sure you have your notifications set to all. So you receive all notifications for the channel. Until next time, I love you guys. Okay. Bye-bye.